So this system essentially gives you more anchor points where you didn't have any to begin with. This one, this one, and now everything's loose. And so what I've basically done is create an artificial truck net that can be undone very quickly. So I recently figured this knot out. I don't know the name and I've never seen it before. So if you have any idea what it might be called, please leave it in the comments. Anyhow, this is how you get it tied. You start with a bite of your rope and I'm just going to take it and form a simple overhand knot. This is also called an executioner's knot. There you go, just like that. And I'm gonna take a length about the width of my palm and I'm gonna tie another knot the same way I did the top. Okay. Now here's where the secret happens. Right in between these two turns, I'm gonna crack that open and I'm gonna pull out this working end right here. And I want this loop to be just as long as the distance between these two knots. And then I'll pull that tight to adjust it. There we go, let's pull everything else tight. Okay, now this is a sliding loop here and I don't want that. So in order to lock it off, I'm simply gonna take a twist here and throw it right on top of that loop and then pull it tight. And so now I've created a locked loop here, a shackle here. This is gonna act as my gate and I'm going to place my button through that gate. Now when I put tension on it, it won't come undone. Now if you're concerned that it will come undone, I'm simply gonna pass this loop first underneath and then pass this through here on top. There you go, you see how that looks. And that's definitely not gonna come undone. So there's a variety of places you can use this. Check this out. So for this setup, I just have my inline shackle knot tied and I had two free ends on each side and I was able to tie those back and forth around the pole. And up top is just a simple square knot. And that allows me to move this up and down. And when it gets tension on it, it doesn't slide. The basket you see here is actually for a trailer hitch. And I started off my rope, tied off in this hole right here. And then I did three shackle knots. I ran the rope through this hole, underneath, and then through this hole and three more shackle knots. Then the rest of my rope is just sitting right there and we are gonna tie down this cooler. So this system essentially gives you more anchor points where you didn't have any to begin with. Here I'm just linking in my rope on either side. Now, if I wanted to, I can tie a loop in the standing end here and do some trucker's hitch action, but I'm just gonna tie off some half hitches. Okay, there we have it. Okay, so up top here, I have my inline automatic trucker's hitch and I've been pulling a whole bunch of tension, right? But over here, I still have a little looseness. So I'm just gonna work it all through. Keep pulling in my tension on this side. Any slack that I get, I'm just gonna pull through. There we go. And I can keep working that as long as I wanted to. But this thing is nice and snug. Of course, I could run these type of knots all the way down this basket and I could tie down whatever it is I want at varying heights. Now that it's time to let it go, I'm just gonna release all my tension and watch how easy it is to undo the system. Do this button here, this one, this one, and now everything's loose. Now I know some of you are thinking, just use ratchet straps to get it done with already. But the fact is, ratchet straps can't do everything rope can. 
So after leaving myself some rope to tie into my truck bed, I tied my shackle, and now I need to measure the distance to my next shackle. And so I'm gonna use my arm as a gauge. I'm simply gonna grip my shackle, measure from my elbow, and then measure that again. And now here is where I'm gonna tie my next one. And then after that one's tied, I'm gonna do the same thing again. Elbow, elbow, next shackle. Of course, you could use whatever unit of measurement you want to distance your shackles. I just like to use what's already available. Now I'm gonna get a length of my palm to measure the next knot. Okay, have my working end here. I'm gonna crack open my knot and pull that one out and make sure it's just as long as the distance between these two knots. Tighten everything up. All right, and then to lock this off, I'm going to take a twist, throw it over the top, and tighten everything down. All right. So now I have two. So I started working on this knot because I had an experience where I was just all chewed up. My father-in-law had a whole bunch of items in the back of his truck and he knew I was into tying knots, so he asked me to tie it down for him. And I didn't exactly know what I was doing, but I thought, hey, I could figure this out. So I started at one corner, went across to the other, up to the next, and then back down, and I ended up with this big old X across the truck bed. And so I thought, you know what, the next thing to do should be to tie all the parallel sections together. So I started tying more and more paracord, and I ended up with this big old spiderweb looking thing, and I told him, just cut it apart when you're done. But you know, it was all messed up, and I thought, you know, I just need to figure this out. All right, now we're going to tighten it all down. I have my automatic trucker switch going. But if you notice, I still have a whole bunch of slack back here. But that is where the magic of this knot comes in. Because I can just adjust everything. I bottomed out over here. So I'll just undo that quickly. And keep pulling all the slack in. And so what I've basically done is create an artificial truck net that can be undone very quickly. Now when it's time to undo everything, I'm just gonna pop all these buttons free. There we go. And I'm ready to unload.